So literally, I made this soup, which is a white minestrone, I call it. So we coarsely chop our greens. Come on down here. In the pot, we've got some olive oil. And now we're going to add in, I've got the celery done, I've got the parsley done, and I've got the leeks done. We'll drop those in there and I'll show you quickly how to cut your fennel. Get all this going. With your fennel, you're gonna quarter it, cut into it on an angle to remove that, and then thinly slice or chop it. The greatest trick in the world, if you love to make a lot of um, soups, uh, going into the fall and winter especially, save all of your Parmigiano rind I keep it in a baggie in my freezer and I always throw some into my pot of soup. It makes the whole soup taste like Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. I like to take dry beans, soak them overnight, cover them with water by a couple of inches, cook them up once they come to a boil with salt, one onion that's been halved, and a couple of fat, fresh bay leaves. If you don't have the time, of course, just buy two cans of cannellini beans. If you cook off your own beans, you're gonna have a little of that starchy liquid still remaining with them, and I just transfer that all together, and that helps thicken the soup. Then right before I'm ready to serve, I wilt in all of those beautiful leaves of escarole. I'm just gonna coarsely chop this. Now, if you want to add a little pasta, like ditalini, as you do with a lot of different minestrones, that's great. Another fun trick if you wanna up the hearty factor of this is to add some little gnocchi to it, little potato dumplings. Those are nice too. I'm also going to use, because I'm using escarole, I'm gonna use nutmeg. Nutmeg is the best friend of any dark green and anything made with cream or whole milk. I'm gonna chop up our escarole. When we come back, we'll finish wilting in and we will serve up our soup. So I'm just wilting in the last of our escarole. And I took out our rind, our piece of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese rind, and I removed our herb bundle because it's done its job. Its work is done, as they say. Now we're going to finish with a little bit of nutmeg. It really highlights the flavor of any dark green. A little hint of nutmeg. And then I always finish my soups, as my mom did and my grandpa before her, with a little brightness, a little bit of acidity. I just drop in a touch of lemon juice at the very, very end. Um, I also just like a giant piece of bread. So this is just charred, rubbed with halved garlic and drizzled with olive oil, sprinkled with a little flaky sea salt. I put the bread right on the side of the bowl and let it soak all the flavor, and I eat the bread like my dessert when it's done. It's all like mushy and yummy and covered with chicken stock and all those great flavors, all the herbs and vegetables. And then, of course, for being so healthy and eating all those beans and vegetables, you need a fair amount of cheese on top. 